Hi traders, Nathan Bray here from ACY Securities. Well, today we're gonna to take a look at strategy number two of my five unique trading strategy webinar series I'm doing at the moment. There's been lots of interest in these strategies and keep in mind today, as promised, I'm gonna focus on the second one, which is called the Simple Fib Trader. Now, this strategy is ideal for intraday traders. If you're a day trader, if you're looking to get in in a matter of hours or potentially stay in overnight, then this is a strategy that allows you to trade with the longer term trend, have a really simple trigger to enter, to look for a setup, and then target your exit as well as managing your risk simply using the Fibonacci tool. Now, if you don't know what the Fibonacci tool is, don't worry, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Okay, traders, so we're taking a look at this simple Fibonacci uh, trading strategy, and I'm looking at the uh, hourly chart. So for an intraday simple Fib strategy, we just use this hourly chart. So there's a few things you'll see on here. There's a, a few guides, so we get an idea of where last month's high is. That's that mustard dotted line and last week's low. Okay, so these are just guidelines that you can use when you're wanting to enhance this particular strategy. The main thing you need to look at really is just down the bottom to get an idea of if it's green, it means we're drawing the fib tool up from bottom to top. If it's red, if the move is red, then we remember to draw the Fib tool from the top to the bottom, okay? So either way, what we're doing is trading in line with a longer term trend. And in this case, for a buy, we're looking to buy the dips, but we're looking for a precise pullback. In this case, a 62% pullback of the move. Because when you think about it, if you're trading in line with a longer term trend, and you want to buy a pullback, as a buyer, you want to buy at the lowest possible price, okay, which gives you more room, okay, for your trade. And conversely, if you want to sell, then you want to sell at the highest possible price. So that's what we're doing. We're looking for significant retracements in line. With so this is how we use the FIP tool. So if we look at this hourly chart here, we'll see we've had this move up, okay, over about three or four or five hours. And the last two hours, we've had a bit of a pullback. So therefore, I might think, well, if the longer term trend is up, I'm looking for a pullback to get in and I want to buy the dip. So I used the Fib tool to do that. So you just left click on this draw Fibonacci retracement tool. And then I left click and from bottom to top, why? Because I look down the bottom and see that it's green. So it tells me, it reminds me, draw from bottom to top. So I want it to pull back to at least the 62 fib retracement level, or some people want a deeper pullback. They might go 79. Let me show you how that works. So I just draw in the fib tool from bottom to top. And you'll see this 62 level here. It tells you precisely the price too. So we're looking at 8703. Okay, 8703. And sometimes if you, you're not able to watch this, you could almost put in a pending order there and preset it. If it hits there, it will trigger you into a trade or you could just keep coming back every few hours and see if it gets there. So it's a very simple process. Some people even want to go deeper down to the 79. But let me now just take you through this trade. So I'll just move the hours forward. And you'll see price over the next few hours does get down and touches that 62 level. In fact, it just gets a couple of pips below that level. So the, the, entry, the entry trigger is if it gets to that price, you just enter. Okay, so let's assume it got to that 62 fib retracement level with that price 87, it's 87.03. So we'll assume that's where we entered. Now, it's very simple. All you do is go to where you started to draw the move up or the, or the most recent bottom, okay? And you'll see that would be where I put my stop. Some people go, well, I'll put it one pip or two pips below. That's completely up to you. But you can see there, what I'm saying is, I will call this trade a loser, intraday trade too, by the way. 
if it puts in a lower low, if the market's saying actually I'm 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 going to go lower than that previous level. Okay, so now you've got a reason for your exit, and now what you can do is target your take profit. So you just target the 127 extension. So I'll draw that line in. And so now we're actually able to see that I am risking about 14, 15, maybe 16 pips. If I put a, a pip or two below, uh, you'll see it in the middle there, 16.5. So it's 16.5 pips I'm risking. And if it gets to the 127 extension, I'll be making about 36, 37 pips. Okay, so yeah, I'm looking at just over a sort of two for one risk reward there. So it's a very simple strategy. If it pulls back to the 62 or the 79, that's where I'm going to put my uh, entry. That's where I'm going to put my stop uh, at, that, at the start of the move. And I'm going to target the 127 extension. So let's just see how it plays out. You'll see it moves up. We get a nice pullback. Price goes up and hits that 127 extension level. So that would take you out. Because in effect, what we're saying is that if the trend is up, then surely if the trend continues on the longer time frame, we'll put in a higher bottom and potentially put in a higher top. It actually did fractionally move above that. And you'll see it actually moved all the way up to the 162. Okay, so to make it simple though, we just sort of use a strategy where from if we wait for a pullback to the 62 and we target the 127, then we're able to trend trade looking for retracements in this level. So let's get rid of this one for now. Okay, and I'll take out our entries and I'll take out our stop loss because you might be like, well, I just missed this trade. and I'll delete it. However, another move higher has happened. If I look down the bottom, it's still green telling me to draw my fib from the bottom to the top. So let's draw our fib in. This time it'll be from this bottom to this top, and we'll be targeting this 62 level here. Okay, so let's just move it forward. Uh, it moves down over about four or five hours and it certainly gets down and touches that 62 fib level so now you're looking for the trade after the pullback to continue in line with that longer term trend and buy it so let's just take you through that again so that's where we would have entered and our stop would then be at the higher bottom this time okay so this is where we're using the hourly chart to look for trading opportunities to trade in line with the longer term trend. But in this case, we're buying the pullbacks and looking for a significant dip. So I'll just draw it in at the 127, which I believe would be about here. And we'll move through and boom. Okay, so that's tag that 127. Okay, so it price never got down to our stop, all right, uh, at that higher bottom this time. And in effect, it's allowed us to trade in line with the trend, but buying the dip. And in this case, I'll just look at your risk reward on this second trade. You're looking at risking about 18, let's call it 20 pips. And targeting the 127 is about 40, 41 pips. So again, that two for one risk reward in line with the trend. So that's how it works on the buy side. And keep in mind, we're just using this hourly chart. Um, however, you can then, if you're watching Duncan Cooper's uh, market analysis uh, webinars or watching his detailed uh, trading webinar he does, which we'll have the link in the description below, um, you can use it on different timeframes. So rather than just this hourly, you might wait and look for opportunities on the four hourly compared to say a daily trend, okay? That you can move your timeframes up to look for significant levels. Now to finish off, I just want to show you, let's go to the Aussie yen and I'll show you how the, how the sell trades work. All right, so looking at the Aussie yen, I'll just, 
you'll see we've recently had this move down. I look down the bottom and I say, okay, the um, it's red. So this time I'm going to draw the fib from the top to the bottom looking for a retracement to put in like a, a lower top this time and then put in a lower bottom. So let me just draw that in for you. So remember the whole time we're assuming if I've got the fib, this is the start of the move gone down. So I'm drawing it down this time. And then I, as price moves forward, actually I have to adjust it because see how it spiked down a little bit lower the next hour. And you have to just keep adjusting the fib to suit. And in fact, we would have had to move it down here. So that's why I look for price to give me a couple of candles where I see there is the potential for a decent retracement. So you can see looking at this now, I can say, okay, price has maybe decided. So I'm going to adjust it and be like, okay, there we go. That's, that's the assumed bottom. So now I want to see price rally back up to this 62 level. Uh, or you could look at 79, okay? I'd say, well, I want to be a seller, but I want to sell from a higher uh, price in line with the downtrend. And you'll see price gets up here to the 50. Ah, oh, look at that. It literally gets up and tags that 62, all right? So let's say we just got in there or you had uh, an order in and it automatically got you into the trade. So now I've put in a sell trade. And I'm targeting the 127 extension down here. So, and, and I'm going to put my stop, of course, at where this highest point was, where this whole thing moved. So in effect, I'm now looking at this saying, well, I'm risking about 17, 18 pips. Um, but if I hit my profit target, it's about 36, 37. So sort of two for one. And then we keep moving forward. And you can see price at one point started to get above your entry at this um, 62. In fact, it got a little bit higher, but it certainly didn't stop us out. It didn't get to a point where I was putting in higher highs. And then boom, right here. Okay, so this 127 was reached. Why? Because the longer term trend is down and we're looking for short. So to finish this up, let's just keep going and seeing if we missed this trade or saw it. Let's keep moving. Okay, so let's use this one. Okay, so right here, you'd say, well, from top to bottom, it's red. I'll draw the fib down. That whole move. So what I'm looking for is an entry at this 62 level um, or as high as the 79. If I keep moving it up, you'll see it literally gets all the way back up to the 79. But let's just assume we entered at 62 because it would just trigger you in. So we entered here and we put our stop above the previous high just here. And I'll take this one out so it's clearer to see. And the 127 extension this time is down here. So it's very clear now. We can see we got in at the 62. We're risking about 22 pips. If we get to our target, it's close to 50 pips, okay, about 49 pips. So it's more than two for one. However, at one point, if we just triggered in, you can see there was a few hours there where it was the trade was going against us. Now, does that continue and stop us out? No, it doesn't. And it comes all the way. Oh, it's so close to that 127. It wouldn't have taken us out. Uh, it did too. See here, it went down. That would have taken us out, okay, of our 127. And you start to get an idea of the structure of trend where if it's going down, it's going to put in lower tops, break that bottom, lower bottom. Then we move down to another lower top another lower bottom so what we're doing is looking for significant retracements and looking to either buy or sell those retracements in line with the longer term trend and here you would have had say two or maybe even three trades in a 24-hour period set up just on this one particular pair
However, if you go through and you look at all the different pairs that are automatically ready for you, you can see there could be 12 opportunities uh, as in different pairs that you could already have fibs drawn in on that may trigger. So you might end up not focusing just on one or two pairs. You're focusing on a whole variety and then just looking for a price to retrace to that 62 or 79. Okay, if there's any questions, folks, at all, please don't hesitate to email me, nathan.bray uh, at acy.com. It's been a pleasure discussing this simple FIB trader with you. And remember, your account manager can set up your MetaTrader 4 to look exactly like my screen does here. We will provide you the education uh, to go with it. So just register your free live account and uh, book in some time with your account manager and they'll be happy to set it up and also spend some time teaching you and doing some trade reviews on this simple FIB trader strategy. Have a great day, everybody.